Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the uh, quick look of a new version of Google Chrome as you see here. Chrome version 62 was released late today, October 17th and uh, basically it is the latest version of the Google Chrome web browser. Used it for a couple of hours uh, with my favorite web pages, see if everything's all right. I haven't seen any glitches or anything wrong. Of course, sometimes it takes a little more time to see this, but basically um, didn't see anything uh, weird or special. So um, some of the uh, changes are with security behaviors uh, that basically wants web pages to adopt HTTPS. So when you are on an HTTP site where password or credit card uh, site where you know all of that is the fields are present Google is now extending the warning to any HTTP site where users data is entered so before you had you know when you see here on the upper uh, on the URL you see that Google for example is on HTTPS so when a field is there so say you go to a web page where you can enter some information uh, even if it's not sensitive, you know, just a little field that you can fill up and the page is not HTTPS, now you will actually have a warning that the site might be unsecure. So uh, basically, it will tell you even if, you know, the page just asks you for something. Say, for example, did it have a survey and the survey would ask you a question and you enter it in the field. Well, you know, technically, if the page not HTTPS is not necessarily a problem, but they now actually extend this, and it's Google's way of saying, look, every website should be secure now because it encrypts the data, makes it uh, basically a little more uh, safe, you know, safer, basically. Um, also, if you use the incognito mode, the not secure warning will be there on pretty much every website because of the increased expectation that privacy if you want to have privacy in incognito mode so basically it's going to tell you yeah okay on mac os various buttons will now match the native style of the operating system so if you're on mac you will see a change in the look and feel of the buttons so they match basically the feel of your own um, operating system what else is there in here uh, they now support open type variable fonts. So basically, typography will uh, gain responsive design. Um, so right now, when you have a font, file contains um, a single instance of a full family. So for example, regular, bold, or black. Or one stretch for normal, condensed, and expanded. Variable fonts uh, and open type variable fonts are a type that easily change in stretch and style and weight through a single font, which is more compact. So this is being uh, issued in this version. So they are actually working on adding the open type variable font, um, you know, to the web with this new version. And um, basically, the network information API in this version it now returns actual stats about the user's connectivity instead of just the speed estimates based on the type of connection. So there's more available metrics and telemetry available when the API is being checked out. And uh, there's also in the uh, Android version, uh, also the desktop version, adds a new possibility of ambient light sensor. So it allows sites to adapt to changes in light intensity around you. So that could be of use for some people, but it depends. I find that rather annoying personally. So it's available now. Check it out. There's nothing much more in there. There's a few uh, security fixes also in it. So of course, um, usually when they uh, send out a new build, there are some security fixes available in general. So uh, update to the latest version. All you have to do if you don't update automatically is go to the um, little three dots on the upper right corner go into help and there about Google Chrome and it will check for an update and force it to update on your PC so that's the new Google Chrome 62 web browser
by Google. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.